This video is going to be quite a short one, we're just doing one example um, and we're going to be looking at solving simultaneous equations um, using matrices. We're not actually learning any real new skills today, um, but we're just going to be using inverses and multiplication um, to solve these systems of linear equations. Um, so what we've got here is um, we, wanted, we have an example where um, we are required to find x and y and these simultaneous equations. We've seen lots of these examples before. We know how to solve these equations um, by hand using this, the substitution method and the elimination method. Um, this is just a, a slightly different method using matrices. Um, so we just need to rewrite these as matrices first and we always end up with an equation that looks like this. We've got coefficients in here, so 4, 2, um, 5 and 3. We've got our unknowns sitting in here, um, and then the right-hand side goes over here. And um, just by way of explanation, the reason these matrices are the way that they are is because when you expand um, these matrices out, when you multiply them, remember matrix multiplication is row by column, um, so you end up having for your first element 4 times x for x plus 2 times y, which is this left-hand side here. So um, that's why we set up the equations like this. And if we, again, this is not something you have to do every time, but if you name them A, um, X, and B, what you've actually got over here is AX equals B. You want to solve this equation for the matrix X so that we can work out the values of X and Y. Um, and remember, pre-multiplication by the inverse. Um, A inverse times A is just the identity. Um, and the identity times anything is just x. Um, so we get that. That's what we're looking for here. Okay, so when we want to solve for this matrix xy, what we actually want to do is we want to find the inverse of a first. So a inverse here and multiply that by the b. And we're going to be able to work out what the values of x and y are. Um, so remember to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix you need to do 1 over the determinant. The determinant here is 4 times 3 is 12, take away 5 times 2 is 10. And then with this matrix in here we've got to do some things with the elements. So we're switching 4 and 3 on the main diagonal and we are changing the sign of the elements um, that are not on the main diagonal. Um, Again, I'm just going to leave this as a fraction out the front and do the multiplication with integers because that will make it a little bit nicer. Um, so remember matrix multiplication, again, row by column. So 3 times 8, 24. Negative 2 times 11, 22. Negative 22. Um, and then the second row, row by column, negative 5 times 8, negative 40. And 4 times 11, 44. So just cleaning up that matrix there, we have 2 and 4, um, which gives us 1, 2. Um, the question, can't see it anymore, but it says solve for the values of um, x and y. So we actually need to state that x, this is what we have here, x, y equals 1, 2. So x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. So let's just quickly check on the CAS that we've done everything correctly. Um, remember, we want to find the inverse of this matrix 4, 2, 5, 3 inverse so to the power of negative 1 um, times that right hand side which was 8, 11 and we get that x is 1, y is 2. Um, we can also use our regular simultaneous equation um, tool to, to solve for this as well. So 4x plus 2y is equal to 8 and our other equation 5x plus 3y is equal to 11. We want to solve for x and y and we get the same thing.